You probably don't know much about the new voting laws in Georgia, but I bet that you know they're racist. Or at least you've heard the laws called this by virtually every prominent Democrat politician in America. You probably don't know too much about the voting laws because the actual content of those laws has been carefully hidden. They don't want you to know. If you bother to look, you know the law engages in such racist behavior as requiring absentee voters to submit driver's license numbers or other documentation under a new process for checking their identity, mandating that ballot drop boxes be located inside early voting locations, and the law expands weekend voting before general elections. In fact, the new law mandates voting hours on two Saturdays out of the month statewide. That would seem to be an expansion to me. And those drop boxes, oh, those drop boxes, they didn't even exist pre-COVID. Now, they are being enshrined into our election law as a part of our electoral process indefinitely. The fact that Georgia Republicans are putting any limitations at all on this brand new part of our electoral process is being smeared as racist. It's the new Jim Crow. Even the idea of requiring any voter ID at all is also smeared as racist as if African Americans or other minorities are too stupid to figure out how to get an ID, which, by the way, Georgia is offering free of charge. What the left is pulling on Georgia is just a test run for what they plan to pull on other states where they don't have complete control of voting processes and procedures. Call it racist. Get their mainstream media minions to repeat the lie then. Pressure corporations to economically punish the states behind these so-called racist laws. Rinse, lather, and repeat. In fact, the left's patron saint, Stacey Abrams, praised New Jersey voting laws, laws that have shorter and more stringent early voting than Georgia. The left counts on white Americans to be so intimidated to be called racist that they don't dare speak up, and count on black Americans to be so emotionally manipulated by race talk that we don't understand how fundamentally offensive the idea that we are too stupid to get voter ID really is. The left does all this, by the way, as they exacerbate a crisis at the border, which sees hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants per month enter our borders. How much do you wanna bet that restricting all those new people from voting will be called racist in 10 years? What is happening to Georgia right now will be the guidebook for what the left will attempt to pull in states like Florida and Texas and any other states where they don't control the electoral process. My advice to these states and Georgia is to stay the course. Don't allow yourselves to be blackmailed by the woke Twitter mob's latest outrage. Election integrity is important. In fact, the right of all voters not only to cast their vote, but to trust and believe in the security of election systems is one of the most fundamental rights we have as Americans. Once the left has completed its attack on that and has bullied, shamed, and name-called this way into power, there may be nothing left to fight for. So start the fight now and don't let them get away with this.